Good morning, Queen Tiffany here. How's everybody doing today? As far as myself, I'm blessed and highly favored. Well, today's video was a request of one of my great viewers. And they asked me a question, and I'm getting around to answering that question. Um, I go to school on the University of Phoenix online. I've been going there for the past few years, and I'm about to have my bachelor's degree in criminal justice in literally three months. So I wanted to make sure the video is sweet and detailed and sincere. And I decided to say this is the time for me to share that being that I'm at the end of my amazing journey. So shout out to you for asking the question and I hope this helps. Um, let's jump into the video. So as far as my experience with the University of Phoenix, it's been an amazing journey. Um, as a mother of four, um, returning back to school because I went to school over almost 10 years ago. And at the time, it was so much happening. My kids were younger, so it was really a hard journey for me. So I didn't stick it out. I just was like, life is too much. Life is happening. I could not do it at that time. But as the years went on, my child, she was entering her college year, and I felt like she was finishing school, she was entering it, and I had to finish something that I started. Plus, I didn't want to have that in the back of my head that I didn't take the time to return and finish something that I started out, which is get my college degree. So, with that being said, I put her through school, and I put myself through school, and one of the most important things to me about going to school online is that it's convenient. It's accessible to my schedule. Um, it's a flexible go as you on your pace type of flow. And for me, I was at the time working security, doing my fire life safety director jobs, and I had a lot of free time on my hand. So I figured instead of sitting somewhere for eight hours waiting for something to happen, how about I use that time to better myself? So I decided to enroll myself in school and at the time, I promise you, I was just like counting the credits. They seemed so far away. I was like 120 credits and I only have two classes right now. The classes are about five weeks, five weeks to nine weeks, depending on your major. And um, for me, my major was criminal justice. So I only had to do five weeks. So I thought that was amazing. And literally the classes go before you blink. Like, it's like you come to class, you... You post up two days out of the week. You talk to your classmates. You're studying the materials throughout the week so you can answer your assignments as due at the end of the week. I thought it was really convenient for me. Um, the next thing is, it's always great support. The staff is always reaching out to you. Like any places, sometimes you don't have um, <laughs> good instructors, but majority of them are amazing. They work on work with you. They look out. They contact you. Um, I always had my um, counselor reaching out to me every couple of months just to ask me how things is going and how's the classroom and just getting into like keeping me on point with my goals and what exactly I have to do. And I thought that was pretty cool too. So because you figure you're online and it's like, is so um, different from your traditional classroom, but it is, it's totally a mindset and all the resources is there. They have an amazing library, um, good book material, um, very interesting content. Like it's not boring. Like most times you'd be reading and you'd be like, what is this going on? But the content be so interested that you actually look forward to going to class because you're like, What's this week's assignment? What's the topic? What are we going to do? And what am I going to learn? Um, the next thing is, the first one is convenience. <laughs> the next thing that there's no travel involved. Like, I don't have to go nowhere. Like, as me working in the security industry and doing um, fire prevention, I did a lot of travel. Like, I'll be at different locations, different sites, different requirements. If I get stuck with a, do um, a double 
Sometimes it may not be convenient for me and my schedule and my lifestyle to go to a traditional school. So I love the fact that they came out with an online school that you can actually have it based on your life. And when I have a moment, like one job might be a little bit more demanding and need more of my attention, especially it depends on the shift too. Like if I'm working in a day shift, there's more managerial there. There's more um, um, administration there. So you, of course, it's a different type of conduct. But when you're on your own or is less supervision or you're the only supervision <laughs> that there is, there's a little bit more leading to see and you get kind of bored. So it's always amazing to be able to say, hey, let me take this moment to to, to jump into class, um, take you a little hour, read the material, see what's going on and then like do your assignment. So that was always great for me. If there's no travel, it's very convenient. Um, another thing is, like I mentioned earlier, the support staff is always there. So that's number three is great support. Like they're going to call you. They're going to check on you. They're going to see what's going on. They're going to see how you feel. I have had teachers reach out to me. Like I always like to go to school at the end of the week. That's always been my thing since I've been in school. I guess it's, unless it's a really, really challenging class, then I'll show up for it a little bit more because it's so challenging. But if it's a class that I, I kind of much know what we're going over, we probably already ran through this in a different version earlier in my other classes because now I'm in my senior's year of this class of my bachelor's degree. So a lot of it is like, okay, I covered that already. Oh, I remember going over this. So it's not like when I first started, like, wow, this is new stuff. So I think that's pretty amazing. And you're not learning anything that you don't, they're not presenting in front of you. You're never going to show up to class at is like some weird stuff going on that you're like, we didn't cover this. No, <laughs> they cover everything. It might be weird to you because you have not read the material yet. Because I find myself like my first week when I go in and the teacher's talking, I'm just like, what is she even talking about? Or what is he even talking about? But I know that I have to read the material and it's the way they question it is not so you can just go to Google. Like they know you're going to Google. The questions is never like the common sense question you would think you're going to find on Google. No, you really got to read these books because the, the question, the answer is in the book. And based on how you answer, like even I, I'm not a teacher, but I've been in the classes long enough that sometimes when I read the correspondence from the students, I know who actually read the material versus who didn't. When it's really general, <laughs> I'm like, they're always going to know. Me, I don't want them to know. And I always like to be, like, I'm a nerd. So I enjoy learning. And I always want to show up and show out and give my best at anything I put in front of somebody that represents me. So I don't like to mess with Google. I like to just get in the book. Sometimes I'll, like, wait till the end of the week. But I'll spend, like, two or three days just studying material so I can answer the questions and put it in and get the best answer or the best score on my results. So that's that's my thing. But is is great support. It's less stress. Um traditional school, you're traveling, you gotta go from class to class, you gotta you gotta flex it into your schedule. If life happens, you you have to make situations around it. It's it's always something, but with online it's just that it's so convenient that the time literally <laughs> flew past. I mean literally I remember when I first started, I was like, oh my gosh, four years is a long time. And now I'm like, oh my gosh, it's already over. Like my daughter started school a year before me. So she's already finished a year now and I'm finishing up now on my final year. And I'm just like, oh my gosh, like <laughs> I'm anxious for it to be over, but I'm also like, no. I'm going to take some time off and just focus on my brand and get my credit repair stronger. And then I'm just going to go back to school because I love learning. I'm a life learner and I just enjoy learning new things. So that's my thing. And um, the fifth thing that is the most important to me is there's no excuses. There's literally no excuses for you to better yourself. Um, the question was, um, should you pursue an associate? And I'm like, if you can pursue an associate, then you can go a little further and 
put that little extra two years in and get the bachelor's because the associates is on is kind of like a high school diploma and it's only going to get you but so far but with the bachelor it's going to get you a little further and then the master's is where we really get sweet with it and then we just keep going you know why not we're already there it's a lot of money i'm not gonna front like ugh. Those classes, my daughter was on campus. She was in their school. She was getting the whole college experience, and I loved it. I, I enjoyed that she got that opportunity. I had my kids as a teenage mother, so I didn't have those opportunities, so I love that she did. But I was online, and I swear, it was almost the same price, okay? It was literally, and I was like, I am not going to the parties. I'm not on campus. They're not feeding me. They're not doing any of this so it was it's a lot of money but it, this is the way i look at it why wouldn't you invest in you and you're the best person to invest in i mean honestly education can nobody unteach you nobody can take those skills away and the best part about it to me is the experience of learning, the fact that I'm studying work all the time, I'm researching all the time, I'm typing. I remember when I got in there and I could barely type. Now I'm like, duh, 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 duh. okay. I remember when I first got in, I was like, that's a lot of work. The most of the times the assignments is from 700 to maybe the most assignment I got was 1400 words. That's literally four pages of a type of assignment up to um 10 to 11 maybe 12 pages right in the beginning it was all a lot over time i'm a monster at this this is just what i do i love going to school I, and then when i found myself at work when it was assignments that i had to do like that administration stuff where you had to do with the computers and filing and information i was like a monster and not like i didn't even know i was like let me just treat it like school Bong, gonna be in there like duh, 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 coming up things, putting systems together, and everything. And then I was like, I'm impressed. Like, <laughs> go ahead, Phoenix, you know. So, I, my thing is, when I came back to school, I was always fascinated. I'm a sad, I'm a Sagittarius, so I'm a fire sign. So, for me, I don't know, that flaming bird really navigated to me. And I was like, I want to say, I'm a Phoenix. And I was so proud that I was able to accomplish that because I got my associates sent to me. And it was kind of weird because I was still in the middle of my four year. So once I met my two year, I had it sent to me to feel like I did that. But me stay, having to stick out the next two years, it was kind of rough because it was like I kind of confused myself. Like my brain was telling me you already did it, but I have to tell myself, no, I'm still going. So it was it was a little tricky with that. But it also motivated me too that I would be proud that it's on my mantle outside my bedroom. And it's the first thing I see when I get up in the morning. And it's the reason I can't forget. One, I am a phoenix. Two, college is nothing but a completion of an assigned task that you put before yourself. It's a completed goal that you decided to say, I'm going back to school and I'm gonna finish it. You're never too old. I remember I wanted to be a doctor and it's crazy because I was really thinking about it right before the pandemic. And then all this happened and I realized that is not, that's not my cup of tea. I love it. I'm a natural healer. That's my thing, but not to be a doctor. But <laughs> I was really thinking about it. And the first thing I kept saying is, am I too old for that? And I was talking to doctors about it. Like, is it an age thing, doing research and everything? And let me tell you something. I started seeing, I mean, even our president, pay attention to that. This man is in his 70s and he's the president and just became the president. So age is just a number. It's just a matter of when it's ready for you, when it's good for you, and where you're going to stick it out, the good, the bad, and the ugly. There's been times that some classes were really kicking my butt. And I thought I wasn't going to make it. It was it was rough. I, they charged me money because I failed the class. I had to keep taking the class over. I literally had a math class right before my diploma. And if I could not finish that math class, I could not get this diploma. And it was like, oh my goodness, is this my breaking point? Am I going to make it? What's going on? I had to pay for tutoring. This is how real it got. <laughs> my kids used to mock me like it's not really that hard it's online i just went to my kids my daughter's in college and i was like can you help me and she was like mommy that's hard that stuff is <laughs> hard she couldn't help me and i was like that's what i've been trying to tell you hard online don't slip don't think twice because it's online it is 
you got to put that work in. But it was worth it. When I got my degree, I took the math class about three times before I finally passed. And then the man said, how did you finally pass? I said, after three times, I should have figured it out, right? But it's because I decided to, at that point in time, I had to do something different. And I actually ordered the book physically in person because the online wasn't.